what's happening? This again. I have to bring you to the vet. I still remember what happened the last time though. We have done a urinalysis using the urine sample that you have provided for us and indeed, as we have suspected, your guinea pig suffers from uni urinary tract infection. As you can see here, the pH of the urine is 9, which exceeds the range of 5 to 8, suggesting that it is more alkali than normal. At the same time, there is a high percentage of amorphous phosphate crystals being produced, as suggested by the plus 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 sign next to it. This suggests the presence of struvite crystals in your guinea pig. Furthermore, the bacteria in the urine is plus one, and together with the presence of white blood cells suggests that an infection is taking place in the urinary tract. Therefore, with all this evidence, we may conclude that your guinea pig is suffering from a urinary tract infection. I will prescribe antibiotics for the urinary tract infection. Squeaking when it's peeing and pooping. I have no idea why. I will need to examine your guinea pig. Since it squeaks when peeing or pooping, a more detailed examination of the perineal area will be done. I have examined your guinea pig and there are a few things I have realized. First of all, your guinea pig has a bloated abdomen. This may indicate constipation or a distended bladder. However, constipation is less likely, evident by how easily your guinea pig is able to pass motion. Secondly, although vets seldomly retract the prepuce for inspection, but I did so as it is a good practice in these cases of recurrences. Surprisingly, I found that the penis was extremely dirty, with plenty of yellow-white smegma accumulated around the penis. Smegma is a mixture of dead skin and sebum, sweat and lubricant found on the prepucial area. Also, I found hay and other debris which have gone into the rectal area. This may have caused inflammation and injury, leading to pain and the guinea pig squeaking when peeing or pooping. At the same time, your guinea pig had a history of urinary tract infection, hence this could be a recurrence. So what are you going to do about it? I will first clean up the area around the penis as well as the rectal area, then prescribe some painkillers for your guinea pig. Also, antibiotics will be given to keep the infection at bay. It is actually due to your quick detection that the prepuce is not badly affected. If it becomes chronic, the affected area may necrotize and develop ulcers. Firstly, the guinea pig is turned over. The prepuce and penis are then cleaned of smegma and other debris with warm water and moist cotton wool. Then, the anal flaps are cleaned using cotton buds. There will be a strong acidic smell, it actually comes from the whitish yellow secretions. This suggests inflammation. So what other things can I do for my guinea pig? We may perform another urinalysis to determine the urinary tract status. We may also perform an x-ray of the abdominal area to detect stones, assess the intestines and the bladder size. Doctor, do you have any other tips for me to take care of my guinea pig properly? Sure! Firstly, you may keep a systematic record of the water intake daily. Do not change the water twice daily as it may be harder to record within 24 hours. Instead, always check and change every 24 hours. Secondly, record the number of stool pellets every 24 hours. Perform regular checking of the prepuce and the anus. Monitor its daily activities. Feed a supplement diet such as vitamin C, vegetables and hay, regularly but not every day. Once every three days may be sufficient. Groom the animal at least once every three months. Water intake, 
activity, appetite, stool, and urine are all indicators of the overall health status of the guinea pig. If one of the criteria is not normal, then the animal may be unhealthy. Doctor, hey, how's your guinea pig? Oh, it has been eating and drinking a lot. Also, no more squeaking already, and it's more active now. So you are still trying on a 24-hour method? How much did you drink? 70 ml in seven hours. Wow, that's very that's good. It means that it's eating and drinking a lot indeed. Yeah, thank you so much, doctor.